seat right there. Oh yeah. So uh, I got a couple of dronies in here, which are my buddies. And we're gonna have to see what happens. He does have friends. That's right. So stick around for that. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. Welcome back to Life with Bilsif. So what do you really got going on? I don't know, I'm waiting for you. Me? I don't do this, I just tune them. That's a fancy You build them, point. you get goals, you tell me your goals, and I just make it happen. I don't know what the goals are. You need turbos, man. One. Two. No, I'm going single. Why? Because you already discussed this, we're going 180 mil. It should be 85. Because you can get 85 here anyways. Just 80 mil is good for what you're doing. You can't go over 30 pounds of boost without gas brakes, right? I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. You're not going to see over 20. You're going to probably see like 14 pounds on pump gas. Oh, f**k it. I don't need gap rings. I can't even hurt that engine with that amount of little boost. But <laughs> good thing for you is you live five minutes before you're on where we get E85. So you can run 20 pounds of boost. Not with that turbo. 25 pounds. I mean, what do you said it's only good for 15. Oh, you, you don't need boost. You don't need that much boost. I don't care for that big. It's not just oh. good for 15. You're only good for your motor on pump gas. Pump gas is shit. You get too yeah. much detonation. That's why I want to keep the knock sensors hooked up. No, they're garbage. Damn it. LS knock sensors. I bought brand garbage. new ones though. I told you not to. I know, but I want to run them. They're garbage. They see false knock all the time. It doesn't even matter if you're on the Holly. Because I don't use them. On the Holly, it shows folks. Yeah, they're garbage knock sensors. Uh, That's why everybody just throws them in the garbage. So you have to buy good ones? No, you don't need knock sensors. So this is a discussion. Knock sensors or non-knock sensors? Everybody on the LS swaps? I've tuned 300 motors and none of them I use knock sensors. Not one and I haven't blown one up yet. Hear that people? So anybody listening to the LS site there saying 50% of you use a knock, 50% of you don't really need them. Knock sensors are for people who don't know what they're doing. So I need them then? No, because I'm the one to need them. Oh, okay. <laughs> check it. They're going to be there in case we need them. Yeah, but I don't allow them to do anything. I know, but they're going to be there unplugged just in case we ever need them. So what do you, what do you need them for? Well, well just because they're brand new and I'm going to put them in just in case. Because that way we don't take the intake off the gas. Send them back, get your money back, and put that money towards something else. Like what? Turbos. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough money. Well, it's a start. Put it in the fucking turbo bag. Sorry, pardon my friend. Put it in the turbo bag. I have an empty. You don't have to say sorry to times they fuck. I don't fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be able to have that much power anyways. Like, you'll be limited to your transmission, which would be like 700 horsepower. Probably. They say you can make eight with the TC2 kit, but you're really pushing it. But what's a TC2 kit now? Or the, not the, the HT2 kit. There you bought it. The transco kit. Yeah, the transco kit. And that's in a car. You're ripping around in a 5,000 pound van. So I'm not going to be able to make 800 horsepower? Well, yeah, I don't see why not. But okay. you're not going to be slamming 800 horsepower no. with a big van like well, that. Well, it might when it break stuff. We still need a torque converter, too. Yeah. Did you call Revmax? No. Why? Because I'm not ready to buy it yet. Okay, so send your knock sensors back and put it into the, the torque converter. The torque converter is $900 US. It's 730 ship US. Oh. From Revmax. I haven't found the right one then. I went to their site and I, there's like 10 of them. Well, what, 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 just, just call them. What, what do I need? I got an LS. I have a 4L80. I plan on putting an 80 millimeter turbo on there and oh, I got a sloppy stage 2 cam. Oh, and they're yeah. like, oh, oh, here you go. And oh, I have a, 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 a safari van. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's my Well, yeah, it makes a difference. I'm in the cars with the stall. My, my, all our torque converters are. Uh, 730 shift. There's something wrong with good old Dees in there. She needs a belt, Jim. I don't know. I just took the whole thing apart, pulled the head off and everything. It was making a speed that's really noise. Thought maybe it was the bottom end. No, it's a, but it's better now. It runs. And I tell you, the head gasket don't leak now. It was leaking like a prick. Was it? Oh, I locked tight to her now. She's mad. <laughs> I wonder why I didn't What do we call this? Gas. Break time with Bills of? I don't know. That last chatter with Bills of from Trevor. Break time with Bills of sounds better. Look at that page, Ellen. See the bolts even being the bolts red. I definitely did not use that much attention. It's crazy, like I know this guy that powder coats, but you are too fucking busy. Not the powder coat. That's part of what I do. I'm scared to fucking call you. I'm always doing something. Exactly. Yeah. I don't sleep. Hey Trevor, you wanna powder coat my nuts tonight? <laughs> I'll be like, well fuck, just not so fucking here all the time do nuts. No. <laughs> you gotta bring a whole setup. Like if you would have brought all those pieces, I would have had you blast them. 
And we could have found I could have shown that blaster. Because I bought a bigger one. A better one. I thought maybe I'll oh, blast it out. I wouldn't be able to blast it anymore. So he wire wheeled that fucker <laughs> <laughs> Oh jeez. It turned out mint though, eh? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's even got primer on it, edging primer on it. Really? Yeah, that's yeah, fucking You're getting fancy. The whole engine has edging primer on it. Engine edging primer. So it should last for about a week. What head do you got again? Oh, just the 317s. Yeah, I got 706. I ported them all. I just got. I ported them though. Like you said, turbos push it. It doesn't matter. Turbos don't care. You seem to have an abundance of 243s. You 243 what? What are you going to do with them all? I don't know. 243s, <laughs> what is that? Like the thing that was at the 99, didn't it? Oh, part. heads? Yeah. You don't need it for a turbo setup. It's mainly like people use these heads to flow better NA. Yeah. Like, like you said, turbo don't matter. You just turn up the boost. It'll push it through. How much shit do I need just for the turbo? I need an intercooler. I need piping. What else? Wastegate, blow off out. Injectors. Oh, two. I do need injectors. What do you have now? Stop? Yeah. Those probably won't even flow NA. Don't worry, I get deals on injectors if I figure it out because let me know. Because I can't auto I can't order my Holly then until I know what injectors I'm getting. It doesn't matter. But if you know what intake you're using. It doesn't even matter, you just get the injector harness. Or yeah. I just got Yeah, it. but I'll order the the Holly to the injectors I'm gonna use. So get like I don't know. multi tech on this thing. Yeah, just get like EV6. EV6? EV6. 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 I just bought them. We'll get you 1200 cc injectors. Yeah, these are 80s. Oh, you got 80s? That's what's in stock. Uh, I looked them up. What? Yeah. Okay. I've never heard of 80 stock. Where's the injector? It's in the intake still. What's the part number on it? Are we looking for an intake and uh, throttle body? Yeah, I am. <laughs> you are? Yeah. What? What? I don't think big that friggin' thing is though. <laughs> yeah, that's huge. Like, that, is that gonna fit my milk truck? Yeah, dude, but you can shave off all this shit and it makes it look really good. I heard. 253176. 762? Seven, yeah, I think so. Junior, go over there and check. No, yeah. my eyes are dead. Those are definitely not coming up. There we go. 28 pound injectors. Oh, okay, good, junk. Yeah. Do you need that? No. Hey, Bill, throw it in there. Good job. That's the thing you were asking me about the other night, wasn't it? Math sensor. <laughs> it's like, where does this go? I'm like, what are we talking about? Am yeah, I gonna I'll need, take that. Am I getting any brackets or anything off this for mine? No. No, they don't have No, because you bought the there. fancy Holly, so it comes with everything. Yeah. I can't believe you spent that much money on it. They are so cool. It's gonna look cool though. They're definitely it's just a low ram though. It's, yeah, but that's the best one. Why? I love the low ram one. Yeah. yeah. That's what, if I would have bought a Holly one, that's what I would have bought. I couldn't. I had to flip a quarter for aluminum or black. black. I couldn't make up my mind. No, I went aluminum. Uh -huh. Oh, of course you did. Black looks way better. Yeah, but I'm gonna have black. We're gonna have a black throttle body. Yeah, that's good. And I could always paint it black. Or get powder coat. Powder coat. Yeah. No, I don't do any powder coating for him. He just paints his shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't remember Deason being uncomfortable. So what the f is up with the rails in on that? Why are they like that? Because it's a returnless system. So they try to jam enough fuel in there. I'm assuming. I don't know, I don't run, re I don't run that. I run a return system. There's a problem with breeding. That's, a, that's why, what did I tell you when we first did well, I know, this? but I don't want to look like an idiot. No, I know, no, but what did I tell you? Come on, say it. For the camera, what don't did I tell you? what you see on the internet. Why? Because everybody doesn't know what they're talking no, about. No, that's not what I said. That's because most of the information you see is either from 2007, 1997, or it's from people that don't push the bar as much as they should to learn. I always listen to people that push the bar. It's not so much everybody's like, oh, why are you listen to that guy? He blows up motors. Well, he's only blowing up motors because he's trying to get to that next level. So once he figures out what he did wrong, Guess what? He's gonna tell you, well, this is what I did wrong, so you can go, oh shit, I better fix that before I get to this point. I just ask questions to see what everybody says. I don't listen to anybody, I just ask a question. Oh, Gavin Rims. I wanted to see percentages, right? Some people do. I know lots of people who don't, and I know lots of people who make six, seven, eight hundred horsepower and they don't. Well, somebody said that depending on the kilometer and the engine, they got the shot, like they're probably much gapped already. Honestly, 
this is your first one, you're gonna put it in there and you're gonna drive it and then you're gonna, oh shit, I'm gonna buy another block. And then you're gonna buy another block. No, and that's what he says. No, I'm not. You don't own me. I'm getting your get under 50. I know 80 year olds that are still checking yeah. motors at the racetrack. How do you like my stickers for the side of the van? You'll buy another block and then you'll be like, oh, you know, I want to get to that next level and just be cool. I'm going to do pistons and I'm going to cap the rings and I'm going to put ARP rod studs and shot peen the stock rods and I'm going to break a thousand horsepower on my safari van. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. Well, I just hope we do that now. But no, you're not going to do that, man. You might. We might, but it's going to... That's not going to take it. We'll just back her up. We'll just go easy on her for the first year. You will. You'll, get, you'll fall in love with it. The moment you feel this thing with a turbo on there, even N.A. in that van, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm back. I already know that. This is back, baby. Yeah, more than that, <laughs> actually, more than I ever had N.A. just like that. Because like, you've had some pretty cool vehicles. Yeah, but back then, it was uh, too much money to go over 13s. Nah, now you're gonna be ripping 11s in your freaking safari van. No problem. You think so? Oh yeah, easy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Maybe not an A, but once you put that 80 mil on there, it'd be no problem. I just keep clicking up on the boost until you get there. That's the thing. And then you got me tuning it too, which saves yeah, you money. Yeah, but what do I have to uh, watch for? Because I don't want to cage it. What's the fastest I can go out of a cage? 1150. There you go. 1150. They're golden boys. Peoples. And then when he runs 1150, he's like, well, maybe I could run a 10 with it. Well, I might get kicked off the track. Yeah, but then you'll be like, uh, it's only 500 bucks to cage it ourselves. And that'd be good for the, leave your comments down below if you'd like to see Bill some cages safari van. That'd be cool. Yeah. A little project. Yeah, but if I cage it, then I gotta frame it, then I gotta tub it, I gotta slam it over the tigers. It's gonna, oh, God, he's got all this extra it, shit. He's gonna sit no right on the ass. <laughs> It does, man. You can't do it. You gotta do it like that. Baby steps. This is why you're so nervous to get anywhere, because you're just like, oh, if I do that, I basically gotta make a funny cut. <laughs> <laughs> no. You go, okay, I cage it. Okay, now I'm gonna mini tub it. Now I'm gonna get a rear end in there. One step at a time, Jim. I'm trying to make some sense for it. I got two years before you have this done anyways. What are you talking about? Two years. You got like fucking two weeks and you put this thing in there when you fire it up. You don't understand. You get a holiday. It's, it's the like, money. <laughs> what money? You're there. No, I'm not. I still gotta buy the turbo. I still gotta buy the. You don't need the turbo to get going. I am not doing it until I have everything. Because yeah. I'll be like, oh, that's good enough. Put it in. I know there. what I'm like. Listen. Put it in there. Get it running so you know it all works. Make sure everything's working. And then, oh my, two hundred dollars for a set of headers. Oh, I just bought my turbo for seven hundred dollars. And then, okay, now I got everything. I'm driving my van around. I'm happy. Look at me. I'm Bilsif. Driving my van. I'm going to pull this engine out to do a header change. So what? So next winter you go, oh, no. yeah, I'm pulling it out. That's what he thinks. So he's going to throw right a turbo on and he's going to do one pull. He's going to blow the fucking transmission out of it. And he's like, oh shit, now I got to pull it out anyways. I just dropped the Since I'm here. <laughs> yeah, since I'm here, I might as well turbo it. And then I think, you you mean, I think, I think you're going to be surprised how easy I am going to be on it. I'll definitely I think, work it, but I'm gonna I be, think you're going to be surprised the first time you hole. feel boost. Oh and you're doing 80 kilometers an hour and the tires are still coming off the back of the thing. That's and you're going to be like, woo woo. You're going to be excited. You're Don't like, you remember me from when I was a kid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about eating. I'm worried about losing my license. Oh, uh, pick your places. Don't go down Exmo Street and go by the cop shop and go, what? That's not what you but do. But don't burn up some of the overpass? No. <laughs> it's not 1972 anymore. Uh, 92, come on. There's no way that you're going to maintain your ambition if you're going to wait two years to put this in. It's not how it works. You got to get it in there. Get the hard shit done. That's, that's because yeah, you got to keep your motivation, right? Yeah, your motivation. So the moment you fire it up and you got the holly and it's working and it's running, and it sounds great. You're like, oh yeah, you know, that's your ambition, your motivation. And then you're like, okay, now I got to save the turbo. Okay, so look how many versions of my car I've had. I still got to spend two thousand to put it in the van for what? The holly. You know what he should do? <clears throat> You should buy a Terminator X and not the X Max, and then buy a BNM shifter and buy the hundred dollar module to convert that to manual shift. That was cool. And then I, that's what I'm doing with the milk truck. I'm just gonna shift each gear. 
like manual shift. I bought the, it's $100, $120 for the module, saves you $800 buying a Termax Max. You know, but I'm gonna spend that $800 because I'm gonna get a save. Don't just buy the rate. I should have the money after Christmas. I can have this in NA for sure. Well, that's you think you I should do that, eh? Yeah, it'll still make good power. You still right? have to fucking build exhaust on everything and then do it again. No, because you just build your exhaust to the point at the bottom, but then when you go turbo, the one crossover comes across, and then it ties into the turbo, and you just turbo into the one pipe. Out the hood. What? That's where it's going. <laughs> Jimmy can't do that. I can't do that. It's That's illegal. illegal. <laughs> so it is? You'll get pulled over in one second. Well, I guess this isn't America. Is yeah, it's not America. <laughs> I'm going to put it under the hood, and then just don't cut a hole in the hood, and then you won't see it. I mean, that would save a lot of... I just don't know where the fuck I'm going to go with exhaust. You're stressing about the dumbest shit. Yeah, but where am I going to go? Seriously, think about my van and think about where the turbo might be. Get the motor in there. This is another reason why you don't wait two years until you have everything. Oh, fit Get that motor problem. in there, figure out where your room is, and then have a plan. Do you have a plan? It's right here. Yeah, that was a big thing for me too. Once I got the motor in, it was like, oh, well now we don't have as much room as I thought we would. Yeah. I know I don't have any room. That's what he says. That's why he needs a four But person. I've already looked into it and I can get a two-piece rad. You know what you're saying? Come on, what? If I get a two-piece rad, yeah, easy on pieces and parts. Listen, turbo in the grill, two-piece rad, top lower, intercooled with bottom. I don't think he has that much room. I think he's underestimating the size of this turbo. Yeah, I think so. He didn't mean to a big fucking dude. turbo. 80 mil turbo. Like that. <laughs> That's not the small turbo, Jim. <laughs> you don't make 800 horsepower of the turbo like this. So where the fuck am I going to put my turbo then? I don't know. you got to get that in so we can see. That's what I'm saying. You can have a plan all you want. The moment you put it in the car, it's like, oh shit. My plan's going to change. Yeah, it might not. Even in my car. I might not, have, right? I might not be able to use my AC. Oh, you're not. You're probably not. Trying to gear you up to let you know. Why don't you just be that guy that puts a piece of wood in the window and puts a house AC with a generator? <laughs> Why don't you just get one in the roof oh, like a camper? God. Well, it's going to be your camper, isn't it? No. Why wouldn't it be? going to fucking pull my camper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need my AC, man. I'm fat. I'm fat too, but I don't need AC. I need turbo. I'm going to try to retrofit those brackets off the 4.3 on this LS too so you run all the same fucking bracketry. They make brackets for like 50 bucks. I have not seen adjustable brackets. Yeah, yeah. I see. They make adjustable ones. They make everything. Basically, you bolt them on where you need them. You put it in the truck and you bolt the other piece on. And then when you get the motor sitting, because they just go together like Lego, once you get them in there, you just tack them. Pull them out, wall them up, put them back in, you're done. 50 bucks. Oh. Because I got to do that before I order my balancer. Rotor in your balancer? I have to. ATI balancer? Well, no, they, it's a billet. It's a billet. It, it, I would probably get. They're a hundred bucks. No, I'd probably get a real balancer. Right. That was chipped. And for another, that's not going to work because it's a truck balancer. And that water pump's not working because that's a truck water pump. I'm trying to save as much room as possible in the front. You think that would work for me? That would work for you. What do you got? Is yours smaller than that? So I just scored an intake and a water pump. Decent. Yeah. Decent. I'll take that off your tune. <laughs> <laughs> so if I give you that and that, I'm pretty sure that that's worth a tune. The intake, our body. You think the intake and that's worth 500 plus? No, uh, but I'm not worth 500 plus to you though. You can't say I'm worth full f***ing rate. <laughs> I'm not in business, Jim. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to charge you anyway. I'm in the group. I'm not going to charge you anyway. Okay, so now you get That's your from... payment, though. That's what Ray and Joe do. <laughs> That's what Ray and Joe do. I'm good with it. With you. That's what Ray and Joe do. I just today. don't know if I need Ray and Joe to eat me. They give me beer and what they get my way into the What about all these sensors? You're not going to use any of them. So I don't need nothing off that? No, I don't think so. Not even that bracket? No, because your Hollywood comes with its own. Holy fucking throttle plug like, don't even come with a basket, so don't tell me they come with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the same water pump you have right why there. Why are you hating on the Holly? But that's a Holly. I ordered that from Holly, I don't know why. It doesn't look like a Holly to me. It doesn't say Holly on it by all means. I just got an AC I paid 200 some dollars for it because it's from Holly. I paid like $198 Canadian for mine. 
I thought I was getting a Holly phone bill. I thought I was going to say Holly on there or something that says nothing. It's like, what? See, Holly, I'm trying to friggin' put your name all over my engine, but you, you send me parts that don't even say Holly, and I bought it from Holly. I had to spend five grand just to get a Holly EFI sticker. Yeah, like, what the heck, Holly? <laughs> when you buy an EFI kit, I want a sticker bigger than this big. Oh, <laughs> well, so you want a sticker. <laughs> you didn't get a friggin' you sticker. How does Wilson get a sticker when you don't? I bought a Dominator, I bought No, a I didn't get a sticker. I got two stickers. Bullshit. <laughs> you spent two hundred two thousand. That should be in a Dominator kit. That should come with that should be all my kit. that should be in my intake kit when I get it too. I, I own all three ECUs right now. I have the Dominator, HP, and the Terminex. Terminator's gonna run this 1974 milk. How come they don't send you one for free? You do all the tuning. I don't even think they know who I am. But they're doing it now. Because I'm going to hashtag him in this video. I had to write on Facebook and then you just accepted my Facebook. I understand that you don't want hand-me-downs, but you deserve hand-me-downs once in a while. Hear that, Ollie? You know what I'm saying? I, I email Garrett, see if they had any scratch turbos on the shelf or anything like that. They haven't back to me yet. Garrett's the best turbos on the planet. Like, like everybody argues that Precision makes all these world records. Yeah, they do, but most of the guys using them only have drag cars. They don't drive around the street. They, don't. they make good turbos, right? But yeah, they're just as expensive, if not more expensive now. Anyways, I'm too small of a dude for gear to comment back. I was hoping that maybe I'd get a reply saying we have no scratching debts. I didn't ask for it for free. Yeah. I asked for a deal if you had any with any scratch or something, something that somebody wouldn't want. Or Garrett is definitely my go-to. I haven't used a, a board worn or a journal bearing except for the twins that are going on the milk truck. So you already be, have them? Yeah, they'll be my first board what are those? journal uh, S366s. So 66 mil. I try to come over to your house and watch you play with your car and you don't want me to. The so only I, reason I don't want you to play on I my car is because I, I'm going to be grudge racing, so people don't need to see what I'm doing. I only let them know what I want them to know. When I'm building my car, I can't concentrate because you're there and you're asking questions and I have mm -hmm. a plan. But the milk truck, no problem at all. That's supposed to be a fun build. That's for everybody. When are you starting on that? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. That'd be cool doing that. So I'll probably fire it up on those 28s that he's got there, Founders, just to get it, and then I gotta buy a new juice. So maybe we'll both, I'll call my buddy Kenny Manning from California, deals with FIC. I just want the milk truck to do big burnouts. It's gonna be hilarious. See, that's the type of content that all these people that give away stuff wanna see, I guess. So when you're sitting in the back of the milk truck, trying to edit videos or something with the desk and all the bed and shit back there, and I'm doing pulls down a closed roll. Let us know if you want to see shit like that. <laughs> because things are about to get crazy next year, even with all this bullshit COVID stuff. And the old fucking 47 year old's gonna get turned into a 20 year old again. What? What? I said the old 47 year old's gonna turn into a 28 year old again. You're already 20. Oh, look, he even has head gaskets. That's not head gaskets, Jim. That's a gasket. Nice. The whole thing boost. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at them things. Felpro, made for the USA. My Holly throttle body, made in China. Probably. It is. So we're right on it. I don't understand. Here's something. Maybe you can answer this question. Why is a Holly 102 millimeter throttle body $400 cheaper than the 105 millimeter throttle body? Does not not make sense at all. That's why I didn't buy the 105, is because it was too much money. You don't need the 105 anyways. I know, but the, the, the intake is 105. So I want a 105 throttle body. No, the 102 fits on that intake. I was told. Big spender. No, it was only uh, 1200 bucks for both. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to spend $700 on a decent T -T TVSS. I found one for $200 US. Yeah, it's probably a piece of shit. It's all no, fucking it's on the trailblazer. They come dirty up, and all. They come up all the time. So what? Grab a power washer. Ah. <laughs> I mean, it don't make sense. See, I want everything new, but yet nothing to do there. All the cameras. That's going to be killer. Hopefully that cam's lumpy. It's not going to be lumpy with a turbo on it. We can try it. Make it lumpy. I kind of wish I would have bought a stage three. Upgrades, Jim. Baby steps. It's all to Brian, even though he's never gonna drive his truck. You hear that, Cisco? You gave him a good deal. Yeah, I did. Well, he's gonna the side of that slider over there. Where? Underneath that box. Jim, that wasn't even a dime side. <laughs> I don't like spiders, man. I don't like spiders either, but I was expecting like a tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> 
He was going right for the house, dude. <laughs> he he going right through the pillow. Would have felt, yeah, would have found me at night and bit the shit out of me. No, he would have crawled inside your ear. Mm. Way to nest. Jim, look at the camera. Who had spiders in him? Aaron, look at the camera. Why? Stop mean? being so shy. I'm not, not shy. shy. And he looks at look, he looks at it with a smile on his face. Yeah. He can't control himself. I know. I know. Look, 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 at look at that camera and just stare at it. You just gotta stare at it and get it over with. Look, come on, Aaron. See how you're doing. How you doing, how you camera? Doing? Say how you doing. How you doing? How you no, doing? no, no. Say how you doing. No, he said right. Don't forget to check out the merch, by the way. Are you gonna get a hold of Brad Goldring? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna see how much merch I sell. Not selling shit. Well, I shouldn't say that. Sold merch, but not a lot. What was that thing called? <laughs> the one with the mini bike motors? Yeah, I wonder about it. The scooter. What? Yeah, what's it called? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's already sketching up right in that dick. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I gotta get that anyways. Cause he will still get the broken cord on her. I should get her running. That was a sketchy fucking thing. Yeah. You liked it though. Yeah. Awesome. I thought I was gonna die when I was riding that thing. Why is it track. sketchy? Cause it's just sketchy. You didn't run it at the racetrack. It's sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's not strong in that is the original fucking frame piece. Everything I built is not sketch. You're not gonna break that to me. Yeah, he's sketchy. Dirty old dick. So I shift that valve float. It was weird that that was 6,500 all day long, 66 maybe, and then you start floating valves. On nitrous, 72 every time. Well, hopefully this is fast. Like my cutlass ran 1240. Yeah, you go faster than that. In a Especially van. with a turbo. You understand that you're going to get a lot of followers when you start ripping that van. Oh, man. Oh, well, I you know. You and his car. This was the coolest thing ever I ever witnessed. I was just like, what do you think I want to do? But everybody's trying to talk me out of the van. Are you kidding oh, yeah. me? It's going to happen. Yeah. Dude, just play a cutlass and do this. Like, everybody's got a cutlass and does that. My grandma did that once. Like, it's, it's not fun. I got a 93 GMC I got a VR6 power 240. You could have two $300,000 race cars there, and what's everybody flock to? My car. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of people. Like, honestly, hundreds. I could, We stand back and watch, and we're like this, and like, oh, there's 20 people standing around my car. I don't even want to go to my car and charge the battery because I have to answer a million questions every single time I go somewhere. Well, yeah, of course you do. What car is that? What engine? I go to the gas station, <laughs> things are down on the trailer. What happens? 15 people want to talk to me at the gas station. I can't go anywhere. You want to know why? Because it's different. There's guys on the highway slowing yeah. down. <laughs> if it was just a freaking Camaro with a big block in it, they'd just be like, and be on their way. But I got people trying to pull me over on the highway so they talk to me. Yeah. I got people creeping me. One time we were on the way home from the racetrack, and this kid flying up, and he's with his buddy, and he, oh, and they're taking pictures, and, and he's just like, every time he'd slow down and look at the car, and you can see him in the mirror, and he's like, yeah, he's on the phone, like he's videotaping it. And then I get a creepy message on Instagram. Hey dude, that's me following you on the highway. I don't even know you. Like, how do you find my Instagram? But it's, cool. it's everywhere. It, yeah, it was. It was cool. It gets a bit much. Yeah. So anyways. So anyways, my buddy buys Trevor's old Volkswagen Golf and needs sills. Here we go. Started doing these sills in my garage. And look at the camera. So I started doing these sills in my garage. <laughs> now we're gonna paint this thing. <laughs> and he's like, whoa. I can go get some color match rattle cans. And I'm like, dude, that's not gonna work. Well, that's what he brings me. Sure enough, I sand it all down, I prime it good, rattle can it, and clear coat it in dead sunlight. <laughs> you cannot tell that it was rattle can. <laughs> rattle can Randy. Rattle can Randy. There you go. That's when he was born. Where's all your stereo equipment? It's in the van still. Is it? I don't think you need to take it out. Anything I can use in the heavy? I don't think you need to take it out. What? You're gonna blow that rear end out of that thing. First time you didn't even touch the boot. <laughs> you know, you know the fucking goddamn weight transfer we're gonna have in that thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know no prep racing? <laughs> you know, you're gonna pull the fucking wheels. You heard this here first. <laughs> and Bill, soapbox racing, no prep style. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care if I fucking lose. No, I don't care either. You know what's gonna be funny is putting down like six, seven, eight hundred horsepower on both these things. They're actually gonna get down on the no prep because they got so much weight. This is gonna be hilarious. And the best part is, is I'll have all my weights at the back. I'll have Chev. I'll have Chevy bolt pattern, so I can use. Haven't you seen me bounce tires off the ground on that thing, right? I can do that now. Yeah. Gas break, gas break, and you actually get a bouncer. Why do we have a video of that? <laughs> Check out my channel, Bill said. <laughs> oh well, I'll run it until it breaks it and I'll fix it.
As long as it's not somewhere far away and I have my trailer with me because I'm a suck. I'll tow it with the milk truck. Doc Bill's F bomb. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's hilarious. Yeah, there you go. You better check that out, actually. That's and it's not on the channel, so we're not going to get deleted. Check it out. Zoom in on that. I'll just put a link. Zoom in. Down below, I'll have a link to that video. This is going to be the longest edit in the world. <laughs> Bye! Well, there you go. Just a little information session. So, hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? Until next time, you know what to do for now.